Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and this video is just a short and sweet video on kind of my stance on game modding anymore because a lot of people will ask me, hey, can you make this APK mod for me? Can you do this? Can you make, you know, attack damage higher? Can you do this? Can you do that? Uh, can you help me do, you know, this kind of mod to this game? And I have a weird stance on hacking and modding. I always have, and I kind of let that judgment slip a couple times in my youth where I ended up destroying communities or at least helping to destroy communities for games. And I want to cover up my, I want to put out a statement basically on my stance on hacking and modding games. I do it for fun. I do it so I don't have to sit here and grind it for three hours because I just don't have that attention span being ADHD and autistic. If I'm going to sit here and play a game, I want to be able to just have like an arcade access to it. If you guys remember way back in the day, there was the flash game called Drag Racer V3. Drag Racer V3 was a fantastic little arcade flash game that if you clicked arcade mode, you had unlim unlimited money to do whatever you wanted in the game. And you could actually go in, just build a car and race. And that's all you did. And that was amazing. I wish more games had that functionality because then that would stop people from... You know, hacking, well, it wouldn't stop people, but it would probably, there probably wouldn't be as much hacking and modding of games, but I understand also that these developers want to make money and stuff like that, and that could probably actually lead to more exploits rather than less. So my stance on modding and hacking is taking away the grind. So as you can see with my APK mod, there's unlimited gold and unlimited money, and I didn't make it yet that you can purchase these cars without real money because that's also just going to hurt the developer. That, But even with an APK mod, you still can't purchase these cars because it's going to be signed differently than from the Play Store. So maybe eventually I'll modify that, but right now it feels kind of against me morally to do that. You could always install the game legitimately and you could buy it and then load your game save up in the mod and you'll be fine. I don't know. I'll figure something out. But... As of right now, my modding stance is kind of just remove the grind. I don't like the grind. I don't want to sit here and make mods that destroy communities. I don't enjoy that anymore. Um, and that makes it sound like I enjoyed it in the past. I shouldn't say that, but basically all my mod for this game is is unlimited money and enabling membership, which doesn't really do much in this game. So... I do have some future mods that I plan on doing with this game. Like if you go to Garage and you do accessories, I want to change it so you can do more than 20 maximum items because there's so many things in here that it would be so easy to hit 20 super quickly. And, you know, I don't want that quick 20 you know i want to be able to put 50 items in here if i want to i want to be able to put 69 items in here if i want to so i want to be able to do basically stuff like that i want to do mods like that stuff that doesn't destroy the game stuff that doesn't uh you know hurt the playability for the rest of the community just infinite money so i can just sit here and build a car if i want to build a car i don't want to sit here and grind for three hours to get $50,000 and then still not be competitive because I can't put 12 hours into my tuning. That's just not what I'm about because that doesn't sound fun to me. Wow, what a terrible shift. Anyway, that's just kind of what my stance is on modding now. And I know people want me to release APK mods again, but most of the mods that people want from me are going to damage a community in one way or another. And I just wanted to explain that that isn't worth it in the long run. Not for me, not for you, not for anybody, because it's just going to slow down updates from developers of the games, and it's going to slow down if they even want to support the game to begin with. Anyway, so, wow. This is normally a 5.7 car, and I'm doing terrible, but maybe it's because I'm talking. Another cool thing, you know, side note, is the software that I use for screen recording uh, right off my phone would allow me to live stream very easily off of this game or any other game that's mobile-based. And I hate any 
any kind of bashing of mobile gaming. I honestly enjoy mobile gaming a lot because it means I can just open this game up real quick, like on my break at work, and enjoy it. Or I can open up the uh, I can open PBA Challenge and do some bowling online against people across the planet. I don't think gaming should be limited the way that a lot of people try to make it sound. So, either way, this is my APK mod of this game. I really enjoy this game. You know, props to the developer for making it. I keep hitting first gear to second gear way too late. I think that's why I'm running so crappy. 5847, that's not bad. I'll do one more run for you guys. Oh, I'll show you guys my uh, funky wheelie ollie car, as I call it. I have a car that does an ollie when you first launch it off the line. And then it does a one-wheeled wheelie to the finish line. It's a really funny car. But, other than that, I think I covered pretty much everything. I probably repeated myself a lot. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta say it several times for it to get through some people's thick skulls. So, anyway, I'm gonna show you my weird wheelie car. This thing... What an interesting bugger. I'm not going to show you the tune. Oh yeah, and also the... Uh, thing for doing burnouts on these kind of cars just gets stuck in the middle now. And never moves, and I don't know why that is. I don't think it's something I modified. But then again, I could be wrong and just not remember. But that's what I mean by this car does wheelies. Is it literally does wheelies. And then it'll sometimes do one-wheeled wheelies like this. And then it doesn't matter if you shift it. It just does what it wants to do. This thing is ridiculous. I mean, the tune is stupid. As you can see. It's very stupid. The suspension is exactly what you don't want. The wheelie bar is exactly what you don't want. And these are all things, too, that I want to, like, change the maximums for. I want to be able to do more than .30 just for, like, goofy car setups. I want to be able to do higher than 10,000 RPMs for the limiter. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of fun stuff I want to do to this car because I think it'll be really funny to do. But... Or any car in this game, really. But that's just my stance on modding. I wanted to make a video about it because a lot of people ask me all the time to make mods for them of st stuff that I'm just not willing to modify. That's not fun. So, anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. It's also, another point, very difficult to modify a game that you don't enjoy playing yourself. I know for some other people it's still very easy. For me, I have to enjoy a game and play it for about a week before I think I'm going to actually end up good at modding it. I'm good at modding No Limit Drag Racing because Pro uh, Drag Racing uh, Pro Series Drag Racing was a lot of fun to mod, and it's basically the same game. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.